the honey badger. This little beast has made the Guinness Book of Records as the most fearless little animal in the world. With their distinctive jog trot, honey badgers can range over distances as great as 40 kilometers a day on their hunt for food. Insects, rodents, birds, all are consumed by this animal, reputed to be Africa's most fearless. Incredibly tenacious, they hunt constantly, barely resting between kills. These terrors are very well adapted to the digging lifestyle, with their powerful stocky build, broad muscular back, and formidable foreclaws. These claws can reach 40 millimeters in length, and are the powerful digging tools that help deliver dinner. These long claws can rake up to 50 holes per session, breaking open the nest to their potential prey. The honey badger gets its name from its penchant for breaking into the homes of another vicious beast, the African honeybee. Though many desire the sweet, this resolute little brute is after something perhaps a little more savory. Breaking apart the honeycombs with its claws, despite the furious response of the bees, it tears down the house to eat the infants. The larvae are what this clawed terror is after, and even the frantic fury of the bee's stings won't stop him. Despite their solitary and reclusive nature, honey badgers attract quite a following. These pale chanting goshawk groupies have talons of their own, but their talons are more suited to snatch than to claw the earth, so they let the honey badger do the work for them. They can pluck the escaping prey that the honey badgers aren't fast enough for. Jackals, too, will make off with a little light refreshment when they get the chance. But the honey badger is no helpless victim. It's quite a thug in its own right, and willing and able to snatch a meal right out of the mouth of a snake. And not quite full after its first course, it turns on the outraged snake, and for its second course, takes the reptile's life. The puff adder strikes back with a venomous bite, but it's not enough to deter the badger. At least not until the toxin begins to course through his system. His cheek starts to swell, and he collapses. The snake may have struck a deadly blow. But though this clawed terror isn't immune to the snake's venom, he does manage to recover. He wakes up, shakes off his hangover, and casually resumes his grim and deadly meal. And the following day, he trots on to continue his terrible clawing through the savannah.